Kyphosis is a type of spinal deformity. The human spine consists of vertebrae. The vertebral column is not straight it has natural curvatures. Upper part is slightly bent forward. It is called kyphosis. Lower part of the spine is curved backward it is called lordosis. The normal spine can bend from 20 to 45 degrees of curvature in the upper back area. Kyphosis is pathological and is defined when curvature of the spine measuring 50 degrees or greater on an x-ray. Kyphosis can be different types. The most common type of kyphosis is postural kyphosis. It is caused slouching, standing, moving, or sitting in a lazy, drooping way. In the young, it can be called slouching and is reversible by correcting muscular imbalances and exercises. This type of kyphosis is flexible and often improves with exercises. In old ages postural kyphosis can be worse. Generally, the aging body does tend towards a loss of musculoskeletal integrity, and hyperkyphosis can develop due to aging alone. Another common type of kyphosis is Scheuermann's kyphosis. It is found mostly in teenagers and presents a significantly worse deformity than postural kyphosis. It can be painful, which can be aggravated by physical activity and by long periods of standing or sitting. A patient suffering from Scheuermann's kyphosis cannot consciously correct posture. Whereas in postural kyphosis, the vertebrae and discs appear normal, in Scheuermann's kyphosis, they are irregular, often herniated, and wedge-shaped over at least three adjacent levels. Scheuermann's kyphosis commonly requires surgical correction. It can be genetic. Scheuermann's kyphosis affects about 0.4% of population. Congenital kyphosis is when, spinal column has not developed correctly in the womb. Nutritional kyphosis is caused by nutritional deficiencies, especially during childhood, such as vitamin D deficiency, producing rickets. Kyphosis can also be caused by infections like tuberculosis. Post-traumatic kyphosis can arise from untreated, or ineffectively treated vertebral fractures. Treatment the only treatment for severe cases is surgery. For mild cases, physical therapy is often prescribed. A daily home exercise program, back extensor stretching and strengthening can successfully improve the condition. A Milwaukee brace or a supraclavicular brace are used to prevent worsening and often even correct kyphosis in actively growing children. A brace is indicated in actively growing children, with kyphosis curves greater than 65 degrees. The brace is typically prescribed to be worn almost whole day, until the adolescent is done growing.